Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here and welcome back to the latest update video for the Road to Gulliman Painting Challenge. Now in this week's video the goal was to paint five or four, five tactical marines, but not any normal tactical marines. These are 30k marines from the older Betrayal of Calc box. I had to try and remember the name there for a second. Um, yeah, so it's another five man unit. We're slowly getting through the bulk of it. But stay tuned until the end of the video where you get to see what I'm going to be working on for next week's video. Well, not next week's video, this week's video. I have to upload two this week. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And let's just switch down to the table view. Alright, so here's the five man unit. All finished up, all based, ready to go. There was a slight delay during the week on getting some hobby progress done. But, you know, these things like this happen and... I finally got to sit back out here um, last night and yesterday and get the finishing touches on these guys. Even today, I just got the bases finished. So, I was getting close to finishing it anyway, so it didn't delay me too much. So, we have two guys, two sergeant guys, without the helmets that it's not going to focus on. So, I'll move. Let's see. Let's separate them. There we go. So, yeah, two sergeant guys. And one has a combi melter or a combi weapon anyway, but it looks like a flamer. A combi melter. I don't know. I, I don't know if 40k weapons anymore. Well, 30k, but um, yeah, he has some combi weapon. It's like it looks like a flamer with a boulder, which is awesome. So what I did was I gave it a bit more of a Agrax Earthshade wash around the metal part here to look like it's been you know burned from the fuel a little bit. There's not much difference between these and normal tactical marines. The backpacks are a little different. You have these little kind of, I don't know, dimpled parts on their armor. But, you know, they were good to paint. It's nice to go back to the smaller models after doing so many Primaris marines. And here we have the heavy weapon. I think it's a heavy bolter if I remember correctly. Yeah, the heavy bolter. There was a bit of a problem with this one because I just briefly spread over these I didn't strip him or anything so there's a little bit of a weird effect on his right arm but other than that it turned out okay bases and all are fine everything's looking good so I'm really happy how these guys turned out especially with the new gold now on his on his right shoulder pad let me see if I can find the right gold now everything I've been doing has been based with retributor armor when it comes to doing gold and with the new Warhammer Con Conquest issue, I managed to get my hands on some Liberator Gold. Now, I did have Liberator Gold before, but it, the paint just completely separated. If you can see the way that's kind of separated on the, the side of the pot there, it looks kind of like gold and orange. Well, if I give that a good shake and open it, it's fine. The paint is still good. It's still okay, but my old pot wasn't like that. When I opened it up, it was pure orange. It was rank looking so with a little bit of liberator gold on let me get my little pointer here my little knife just along the edges here going down along it makes such a massive difference to the gold effect when they're painting just all just down along here the slight part on the edges uh, it's very subtle but it makes a massive difference it will make more of a difference once i get uh, shoulder pads with a lot more details on to fill out like that but there is some of that liberator gold um, along the edges of the thinner shoulder pads as well so these were fun to paint it's it's nice it's, it's weird going back to seeing how small these guys they're not small but compared to a primaris marine like here's here's this guy this is a primaris marine that i've just finished up for the painting tutorial and even without a base but he's on his little stand thing there He's way bigger. So, the Premier's Marines are really growing on me. I love the size of them. Um, but I, it's hard to turn your back on the smaller tactical Marines. But I enjoy painting these guys with, the, with these and including that painting tutorial guy. That brings the current total up to 19 models for the painting challenge. So, I think there's roughly about 64 models. So we're about a third of the way through, nearly a third of the way through. So I'm making good progress. I'm getting a lot of the bulkier parts out of the way, like a lot of, uh, like this, like five tactical marines, five premieres marines. But in the next update video, I'm going to be going back to a single character. And it's one that is definitely full of detail. So in the last video, or in the last update one before this, I had Lieutenant Calcius. And in this one, 
I'm going for the Primaris Captain model. Now this guy, <laughs> this guy is very detailed. I didn't know how, I forgot how detailed this guy was until I took him out. You know, and there's a lot of stuff on him. So he's going to take quite a, quite an effort to get this guy painted up to a decent standard. But um, it gives me a chance to paint a power sword. So I'm going to have to break out some other swords. To try and get some painting. Some kind of decent effect instead of just going with the plain bulk on metal. Oh god, bulk on metal. That's going back. Lead belcher metal. So instead of just using lead belcher with a null and oil wash. I want to make it a little bit more... I want to make it stick out a little bit more instead of a plain sword. So, let me know what you guys think. I'm happy with the progress. A little bit of a, a bump in the road last week. But, you know, stuff is still getting done. We're moving along. We're doing nicely. And we have another Captain model to do for next week. So, that's very exciting. So, um, with that, let me know what you guys think of the video. Let me know what you think of the painting progress and the painting challenge. If you haven't hit the like button, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next video.